Мы провели рабочую встречу с министром иностранных дел Иордании, господином Джоби. Обсудили две крупные темы, сирийский кризис и палестинскую проблему. В том, что касается сирийского кризиса, наша общая позиция заключается в том, что необходимо резко активизировать усилия по началу политического процесса сирийского регулирования на основе Женевского коммунике от 30 июня 2012 года. As for Syrian crisis, our common position is that we need to boost the efforts for the political process in the Syrian settlement, based on the Geneva communiques of the 30th of June 2012. Это предполагает начало полномасштабных переговоров между представителями правительства Сирии и всем спектром сирийской оппозиции, как внутренней, так и внешней, при активной поддержке внешних игроков. This stipulates the, full, the beginning of the full-scale talks between the Syrian government and the whole spectrum of the Syrian opposition, both external and internal opposition, with the support of external forces. И Россия, участвуя в усилиях по созданию условий для такого процесса, последовательно выступает за то, чтобы в них также участвовала и Иордания. And Russia, while participating consistently in these efforts, has taken a consistent stance for the Jordan for Jordan to participate in that. Считаем роль Иордании весьма важной с учетом исторического фактора, с учетом той принципиальной позиции, которую королевство, включая его личного короля Абдулу II, занимают по проблемам региона. And we believe that the role of Jordan is very important, taking into account the historic reasons and the principled stance that is taken by the kingdom and the king of the last second. Одновременно с политическим процессом мы убеждены в необходимости резко нарастить усилия в борьбе с ИГИЛ и прочими террористическими группами в Сирии. Along with the need to boost the political process, we are convinced that there is a need to step up efforts to fight the Islamic State and other terrorist groups in Syria. В качестве вклада в решение этой задачи по договоренности между Евгеничным королем Абдалой II и президентом России Владимиром Путиным военные двух стран, военные России и Иордании договорились координировать свои действия, в том числе действия военно-воздушных сил над сирийской территорией. And as a contribution to this process, King Abdullah II and President Putin of Russia have agreed to coordinate the actions of the militaries of Russia and Jordan, including coordination of actions of airspace forces. И военные двух стран договорились координировать свои действия через рабочий механизм в Амане, в столице Иордании. And the military agencies of two countries have agreed to coordinate their actions through the mechanism, through the working mechanism in Amman, capital of Jordan. Мы считаем, что и другие государства, которые участвуют в антитеррористической борьбе, могут присоединиться к этому механизму. And we think that other states that participate in the anti-terrorist fight can join this mechanism as well. В отношении палестинской проблемы мы выразили серьезную озабоченность на основании напряженности в отношениях между Израилем и Палестиной. Особенно нарастание напряженности в Восточном Иерусалиме в святых местах. And as for the Palestine issue, we have expressed great concern due to the growing tensions between Israel and Palestine, especially due to the growing tension in the Eastern Jerusalem in the so-called Holy Sites. Россия твердо выступает за то, чтобы договоренности относительно статуса святых мест, которые закреплены в мирном договоре между Иорданией и Израилем, а также историческая роль Иордании. В том, что касается статуса святых мест, четко соблюдались всеми без исключения. И, конечно же, параллельно с необходимостью разрядить вот этот вот нынешний кризис в Иерусалиме, мы убеждены в том, что следует наращивать усилия, как бы это ни было трудно, по возобновлению полномасштабных переговоров о всеобъемлющем ближневосточном урегулировании. Хочу еще раз подтвердить, что по нашему убеждению, Неурегулированность палестинской проблемы в течение, в течение многих десятилетий является одним из наиболее существенных факторов, которые позволяют террористам вербовать молодежь в свои дела.
And I would like to repeat once again that the fact that the Palestinian issue has not been settled for many years is one of the major factors that allows terrorists to recruit young people into their ranks. Мы с моим коллегой договорились по всем этим и по другим вопросам оставаться в тесном контакте. Thank you very much. Um, and um, I would just like to reiterate um, what uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov um, has said. Uh, I am here in, uh, in, in Vienna, having just returned from um, uh, New York, where I attended uh, the UN Security Council special uh, session on the Middle East and the question of Palestine. And um, I made it very clear in, uh, in my statement on behalf of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan that um, um, the holy sites um, in, um, uh, in Jerusalem um, are the tinderbox that um, um, threatens uh, to uh, throw the whole region, uh, if not the whole world, um, into disarray. Uh, we've said that uh, uh, before. Uh, every time there's an escalation um, and every time the emotions of 1.5 billion Muslims around the world are infuriated by these violations of the holy sites, Christian and Muslim, um, it uh, or usually results in um, uh, repercussions that go way beyond uh, the holy sites. This uh, latest uh, series of violations uh, has seen um, uh, an eruption of violence in the entire occupied Palestinian uh, territories and the violence and counter violence, which threatens, uh, again, uh, peace and security, not just in the region, uh, but um, around the globe. This is um, a direct result of this ongoing occupation. This is a direct result of the continuous violations. Jordan, I have said uh, in the past, reserves all legal and diplomatic uh, uh, options, and perhaps with diplomatic options resulting only in temporary measures uh, on the ground being implemented by uh, Israel, the occupying, the, the occupying power, then uh, perhaps the legal um, option is uh, what we should be concentrating on in Jordan uh, these days, and this is what I said in the Security Council. Um, yesterday. But the fact remains, as the foreign minister said, that the solution to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and the wider Arab-Israeli conflict is peace negotiations that are timelined and according to the international points of uh, reference that result in the establishment of an independent, contiguous, uh, viable uh, Palestinian uh, state that is sovereign on its territory and peace and security for all the nations and, and the people of, um, uh, of the Middle East. I hope that uh, um, this uh, new cycle of violence would perhaps provide a silver lining by which we can uh, find uh, a process that begins and resumes substantive peace uh, negotiations between the Palestinians and Israelis, according to the Arab Peace Initiative, as far as we are concerned, that guarantees collective security measures for everyone. So um, uh, Jordan is a stakeholder in this. We're not an observer. We're not a, a mediator. Uh, all the final status issues between the Palestinians and the Israelis touch the very essence of Jordan's uh, national security and national interest. So we will be pursuing that in cooperation with our friends uh, in Russia and, um, um, and all the stakeholders. Uh, on Syria, as the foreign minister said, we had uh, productive uh, uh, discussions. We have maintained uh, strong links of communication and close consultation with uh, our friends in Russia throughout the Syrian uh, uh, crisis. And there's an ongoing uh, process of consultation between His Majesty the King and President Putin and between the foreign minister and myself. His Majesty visited Moscow twice last year and um, a few weeks ago as well, and there was a telephone conversation uh, between His Majesty the King and President Putin a few days ago. Um, and of course, we are all, all committed to uh, the political solution that ends this ongoing cycle of violence and killing and destruction that we have seen in, in Syria over the last four years, and we're all committed to the principles of Geneva I um, and uh, subscribe uh, uh, to that where uh, discussions uh, and negotiations will take place between the opposition um, and the Syrian uh, government in order to produce a transitional uh, governing uh, body and a new chapter that will restore uh, dignity to the Syrian uh, people and preserve the unity um, and territorial integrity uh, of uh, Syria. Our primary um, uh, concern alongside uh, that, of course, is the fight against terrorism and extremism. And as His Majesty King Abdullah II has said repeatedly, this is our fight. Uh, these Muslims and extremists who come in different uh, faces and in different uh, forms every once in a while, who hijack our uh, religion, the noble religion of, uh, of Islam, and distort uh, uh, its image, have to be uh, fought and have to be defeated um, along three tracks, the military and the discussion on global security, as well as the ideological. 
Um, Russia is engaged um, uh, right now uh, militarily in the Syrian uh, theater. We are a country that is A, on the receiving end of the humanitarian spillover of the Syrian crisis with 1.5 million Syrians uh, in Jordan today, but B, we are contiguous to Syria, on the border with Syria, and we are engaged, uh, of course, in the lead, in the front line of the fight against terrorism and extremism, which requires that we coordinate very, very closely uh, with all concerned because of our national security interests and because of the, the proximity to uh, the Syrian territory. And that requires, of course, in line with the close and um, intensive consultation that we have uh, with Russia, to have close coordination with our Russian friends, particularly between uh, the military uh, on both sides. And this is the mechanism that, uh, that we have uh, established through the contacts uh, that are ongoing. And I hope that uh, uh, this mechanism will be effective in fighting all terrorists and extremists in, uh, uh, in Syria and beyond. Thank you very much, Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.